Hey guys, it's Ghost57 coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. Okay guys, in today's video, we're going to be changing out a battery on a MacBook Air. Stay tuned guys, so I can show you how to do it. Okay, so the first thing you want to do guys is you just want to go ahead and open up your MacBook Air and make sure it's powered off. So this one actually has a dead battery, so we're not getting any battery life at all. It won't turn on, the only way it turns on is if you have it plugged into the wall. And yes, this is a dirty beast of a computer. Look at all that must and bust and grust all on top of that screen. Definitely this also needs a good cleaning. But before that, again, just power off your MacBook Air and we'll be flipping it over. The next thing we're gonna grab is our handy dandy iFixit kit. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our first tool. Our first bit is gonna be a P5 right here in your iFixit kit. This is a Pendelope, specially made for Macs. And that's what it's gonna look like if you have the iFixit kit, which I highly recommend. I definitely got my money back using this tool kit. So we're gonna go ahead and put this over here. We actually have 10 screws we need to remove. The ones over here are a little bit longer. These are 2.6 millimeters. And over here, we're gonna look at nine millimeters. So they do have a little bit more length to the back. So we'll go ahead and get started. Another good thing about the iFixit kit is it comes with its own little screw holder. So you can just put them right over here, like so. Yeah, these first screws are pretty tiny. Kind of take a look at how small these screws are. Don't want to lose those. Another good thing about this tool kit is the magnetic bits. So here's one of the longer screws. Go ahead and take a look at the difference. And it's gonna be the two in the back right over there. These two back here are a little longer. So just make sure when putting this back together that the longer screws go towards the back. Go. And that should be everything. So now that we got all the screws out, we can place this to the side. And the easiest way to get to the back and pull this off is actually right here. Just kind of wedge your fingers in the back and it comes off pretty easy. Nice aluminum back panel. You can see the years and years of dust. So now's a pretty good time to actually blow it off and clean it off because that's pretty nasty. We'll go ahead and blow it off and then we'll work on the battery. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at all those years of dust buildup on a MacBook that's probably never been opened. You can see the dust on the battery. And you can actually see the battery does have some issues with it. Um, yeah, the battery has definitely got its use out of it. Look at all that dust buildup on the logic board. Gross, very gross. And there you go, back on a Apple used fans. Uh, not too bad, so we're gonna go ahead and blow that off and change out the battery.
So the next bit we're going to pull out is the T5 Torque bit right here. Again, all this comes in your handy dandy iFixit kit. So before we actually take the battery off, we're going to pull the battery cable off. It's pretty easy to do. You're just going to pull it straight towards you, like so. And now there's going to be five screws. So we have one, two, three, four, and five in the middle. So we'll go ahead and start unscrewing this battery from the chassis. So with the battery, there's actually two smaller screws in the front, right over here, these two, and the other are actually a little bit longer, so try not to mix these up. And here's an example of the length of all the other screws. Okay, so now you can just pull this straight up and out. And that's how easy this is. So we're going to go ahead and grab our replacement battery, which I actually got from Amazon. The links are down below for both the tool kit and the battery. So it looks like this battery kit actually came with the provided screwdrivers you actually need. Uh, so we'll go ahead and take a closer look at these screwdrivers to see how nice they are. So this one right here is actually your T5 Torx. And this is your Pendelope proprietary Apple one. I mean, these work and they're actually magnetic, so I'm actually surprised. So you can actually just buy this right here, not have to worry too much about the iFixit kit, unless you just want to have an iFixit kit that comes with pretty much anything and everything that you need to open up any type of technology, from iPhones to tablets to all that. But we're going to go ahead and pull this out and put it in the chassis. And we're going to peel off the plastic. You definitely don't want to keep the plastic on the battery. It will make it heat up a lot faster and decrease your battery life. So here we go with the first pill. Ooh, nice. And we're just going to go ahead and screw back in the battery. It's pretty easy to do. Again, the two smaller screws go in the front and all the three larger ones go in the back. So we'll go ahead and get started and finish this up. Now that we got the battery all screwed in, we're going to go ahead and do the last step, which is plug the battery back into the logic board, and you're good to go. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish off by screwing back on the back panel. Keep in mind the larger screws go towards the back, and all the rest are pretty small. So there's 10 screws in total. This might take a little bit of time, so let's go ahead and speed it up. Okay guys, and that's it. So we're going to go ahead and power it on and take a look at the battery life. And there it is, 50% battery life just like that. Now we're talking. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Ghost57 out.